now in Somalia, apparently training and counseling Somalis from so North America and here. Europe. Away from our families, away from the cities, away from, you know, ice, candy bars, all these other things, is because we're waiting to meet with the enemy. We're seeing uh, perhaps their most sophisticated attempt so far to really reach uh, uh, an audience of potential recruits in America. And it's one of the things that made that video very significant. Mortar by mortar, shell by shell, only gonna stop when I send them to hell. And behind the hip-hop vibe and modern graphics, the U.S. government says Somalia is an emerging terror hotspot which can pose a threat beyond its borders. Most of the time, what we're seeing in their videos directly parallels what the groups are doing operationally, what they're targeting, where they're recruiting. And Somalis from North America and Europe are finally beginning to come to terms with the problem of recruitment. Sheikh Ahmed Matan says he knows of hundreds of young Somali men who have returned to Somalia for terrorist training. A lot of, the, of young people from here, from America, from Canada, from everywhere, from Europe, they went to there. To the Somalis living abroad. One of them was a business student from London who suddenly left for Somalia and only resurfaced about 18 months ago on this martyrdom video just before blowing himself up in southern Somalia, killing at least 20 people. Sheikh Matan is one of a few speaking out, outraged that Somali terrorists are preying on his community and convinced these young men with Western passports could be a threat to their adopted homes. An act of martyrdom, suicide bombing. It can be. They can turn any time and send them here, anytime. U.S. defense officials told CNN months ago that one of their worst nightmares was al-Qaeda operating freely in Somalia. Now that nightmare continues. Somalis in North America and Europe admitting al-Qaeda's reach is spreading to their communities. Paul Newton, CNN, London.